So I want to share with you another project that I worked on using these items that you find here or that you see here. Um, I used the doily, not exactly as this one, but a doily was used and this was purchased, um, the doily was purchased from the paper bag lady. Um, I also used some flat back uh, pearls in ivory color. I used uh, this jewelry piece, it used to be a ring and I took it apart, so I used it as a center. Um, I also used some rosettes right here. And these are the mini rosettes and I purchased this from Jaizala and she's known here as Lavish Laces. Hi Jaizala. And I bought it from her zip it from her Etsy shop, Lavish Laces. So I'll put her link down below. Um, also I used this beige crochet trim and I bought this long time ago and I believe I purchased it from uh, Joanne Fabrics. I also um, use this peach color trim right here and I got this from Lee. Um, she's hi Lee. She's here on YouTube uh, as Crafty Loops. Thank you very much. I put it to good use. Um, I also used one of these uh, journaling uh, tags and this is from the new Prima collection. Um, the Divine. Uh, Prima Divine. So I used one of these. I use this paper right here that's a cherub with roses and it's peach in color and this is from the Prima Divine so I used one sheet of that. I also used Velcro and I used um, this chipboard piece right here that says uh, hello. And so let me go ahead and share with you what I made. And I was inspired by Bona to make this and she's known here on YouTube as uh, Live Love Scrap. Hi Bona! And she had shared a video where she had made some beautiful um, envelopes with no cards inside using the new uh, memory, is it memory makers or memory keepers, the envelope maker. So but I, what I used for that I used my Martha Stewart scoreboard and if you look behind your scoreboard I don't know if you noticed but there's an envelope maker behind so that's what I used so I used my scoreboard my Martha Stewart scoreboard and here is the envelope I made and I just love how it turned out I forgot to mention I also used um this uh, pearl, pearl thing um, spray from Hobby Lobby. So here's that, uh, that envelope, so you can see. All I did was use a six by six sheet of paper. Then I cut out the notches, but I just love how it turned out. So here's that lace, that crochet lace right here, that peach trim. Here is the flat back pearls. Here is that doily from the paper bag lady. Here is the pearl, uh, the pearl spray from Hobby Lobby. And then here is that puffy rosette um, that uh, I made. And uh, again, <laughs> I have a tutorial on how to make this puffy center. But um, this is a retake from Vicky. Hi Vicky. She's tryhard67 here on YouTube and she used my tutorial and used the shabby rosettes instead and I think it's beautiful. Look at how puffy it is. So um, then here's that ring piece in the center and then here is the chipboard piece right there. Hello. And it's just so pretty. I just love it. It's so beautiful. So inside what you will what I used um, to make what's hold what's inside of this envelope, I used artistic wire, and um, this is non-tarnished brass. Uh, it could be used for jewelry making. I used the Jesse James beads. I used two different strands, a couple of um, two different strands, and this one's what's left over. And this is the Boho family in yellow, and this one is the Rondell Family Light Natural. And then um, I use these pieces and I bought it from Michaels. 
and I only use these crystal pieces. Um, I also use some gold bead caps and uh, some crystals and pearls and stuff. So all right, let me go ahead and share with you what I, what's inside. So you open it up here like this, and um, there's a little note right here, which I'm not gonna. It's private. And then um, inside is this bracelet that I made. And I also made a ring. And it's a cluster ring. And, uh, and I made the ring using the artistic wire. And here's some. This is from Jesse James. And then here's some crystals and a glass pearl. And I just love it. And then here's the bracelet. Um, it's using... A uh, gold, uh, gold chain and some gold pieces like the gold bead caps. But let me go ahead and open it up for you so you can look at the inside. So here I finished it off with a gold, with a brown um, crystal. And then here's that piece from Michaels. And then this is the Jesse James beads right here. This is Jesse James. This is Jesse James. And then here's some glass pearls and crystal beads and why I did some wire wrapping here's another Jesse James right here glass pearl crystal beads and I just use the same colors just alternating it's so beautiful I just love it and then I finished it off with a lobster clasp so this is a belated birthday gift for someone so by the time you see this video, most likely you have seen hers already. So um, I hope she likes it. It was made with a lot of love. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.